How you going? Welcome to Valheim, also known as the 10th world where Odin sent his defeated enemies. I've set myself the challenge of beating the entire game and all seven bosses up to Ashlands without wearing a single piece of clothes or armor. And of course, we need to create our character and our world. Bjorn the Bear. My bear chested warrior. The bear lands. A naked world. Why not? Now, like any Valheim experience, I get dropped into a world with nothing but the rags on my back, which is already one too many items of clothing. Now, after talking to a bird, I embrace my inner nudist and free myself of my last piece of clothes that I'll ever wear and set off running. Goodbye, clothes. Now, I'm not too sure where I was running or why. All I knew is that I needed to punch some trees and pick up some rocks until I eventually ended up finding a few queen bees that I can get to make me honey. Not sus at all. After running through the night, I found a shack by the water which just needed a few repairs. I decided that this would be my home for the remainder of the challenge. You know what? Beachfront property. I like it. This is home. set up after day one after getting set up i decided to choose violence against the local boar and deer community that is until i was jumped by a family of necks whoa what the hey what jumped by a gang of necks what uh this is for because you all attacked me oh i missed after day three i was getting impatient and wanted to fight the first boss so i set off home upgraded my weapons collected enough deer trophies and set off to fight ekthir bro is jacked yeah, I think I'm ready to take on Ekthir. Well, it's not like I can really do that much more. Let's go kill this deer. That sneezes thunder. Alright, it is time for the first boss, Ekthir. Should be fine. Now, Ekthir as a boss is pretty weak. I use a campfire to burn a bunch of his health away, and then I just use my bow to shoot him down. It doesn't take long. gonna wake easy enough to kill now
With Ekthir defeated, that's one down of seven bosses. I picked up the trophy and began to head back to the sacrificial stones so that I could hang it up. Can you imagine if... Oh, can you imagine playing the entire game and beating the entire game only using the building hammer? If enough of you like the video and actually comment saying, yeah, do it like by building, like with a building hammer, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll lose the three remaining brain cells that I have, but I'll do it. Next is the Elder. Right. Now with the Black Forest unlocked, I can now upgrade to Copper Weaponry. Makes it a lot easier and quicker though without having to make armor. All right, let's go see if we can find either a Crypt or some Copper or some Tin. Let's head into the Black Forest. Is that a star? Oh, it is. Yep. Nope. That's actually a pretty good one. It's mostly exposed. All right, let's get it set up. First on the agenda is finding a copper node, scattering out campfires to keep pesky gray dwarfs away so that I can mine away at peace. Sort of. That's not ideal. I thought the fire was supposed to scare them off. Now it's recommended whenever doing any kind of mining to always keep the stone. You never know when you want to use some stone to build a house. That might be some foreshadowing. Oh. That's satisfying. Oh. Popping a note is so satisfying. After a couple more copper nodes, I set off in search of some certain cores in some crypts. Unfortunately, this is where I would meet my first death. Oh, shh. That's not good. Can I get past those? Alright, fine. Now, despite the setback, this wouldn't stop me from collecting all of the certain cores that I would need. Oh, oh, he's not too far. Okay, that's all right. 11 is certainly cool. All right. So, I mean, it's day eight now. I know where the Elder is, and it's going to take me eight days to smelt all my copper in 10. So, sure. Now, it didn't take me eight days to smelt all of the copper in 10. It did, however, take four. So, I spent that time smelting, digging rocks, and landscaping the grounds, preparing for a bigger house. Four to five business days later, when the smelting finally finished, I crafted myself a forge, its upgrades, and then crafted and upgraded all my new weapons for this fight with the Elder. I crafted myself a boat, readied some portals, loaded up with all my gear, and set sail for the Elder. All right, let's sail down, whoever that is. I don't know how long it's going to take.
after essentially paddling against the wind for the entire time, I made landfall at a Drogo village, and I had the wise idea of claiming it for myself. Yeah, look, I didn't say it was going to be easy. Oh, that was clutch. Ow. Ow. Uh, this didn't go well. Eventually, through sheer persistence and determination, I cleared the village of all Draugrs. I then repaired a house and set it up as a spawn point for the Elder Fight. Once the house had been repaired and set up, I ran over to the Elder and got on with the fight, which didn't go according to plan at all. Oh, there's even a swamp biome here. There's four biomes on this island. Now the Elder is actually a really easy fight. I just for some reason decided to overcomplicate things and make it harder for myself. Let me elaborate. Firstly, I tried to build a wooden wall around the spawn point for the Elder so that he would get stuck. That didn't work. All right, I don't have the best food for this, but I should be fine for this. Elder, you're going down. Oh, he's spawning outside of it. That is not ideal. I'd probably break his spawn, to be honest. I then tried to light him on fire with campfires, which weren't as effective as I had hoped. A one star, seriously? Ultimately, I decided to just take him down with my bow and arrow, some fire arrows, and hiding in between the trees. This is a fair warning, I don't recommend using trees as cover. I died because Elder knocked a tree on me. Ultimately, this overgrown plant wasn't going to stop me from claiming its head as my trophy and hanging it next to Ekthir's. Alright. Elder defeated. Wasn't a problem at all. Set this trophy back and then we can head into the swamp. Now, I also just realized as I got here, I had forgotten to get my rested buff again. If you're new to my videos, I always forget rested buff. If you're an OG, you know what I'm talking about. Ugh. All right, Elder is defeated. Uh, Bone Mass, you're up next, boy. And the benefit is we have Swamp here. I don't know how big it is. And I'm hoping there's crypts in there. So, get going. Why is a Wraith out during the day? Oh, we hit it. 
Oh, I really hit it. Oh, I really hit it. We got a Wraith tro trophy off the first kill. I bet. Now the swamp is actually pretty simple. It comprises of a lot of running from zombies, fighting said zombies, exploring sunken crypts, mining scrap metal piles, and dying. Whoa! Yeah, it's just in that coming. The benefit of all this is that you get to spend another couple of hours just smelting, which at this point, I decided while it was smelting, I was going to build myself a perfect base that I would need for this challenge. Still going. Platform done. Nice. Now you to the walls. It's done for the time being. Definitely needs, uh, you know, a little bit more love and a little bit more work. But it'll do the job. Probably a couple more windows as well. But I've spent enough work, enough time working on this. I need to go take out bone mass. I'll be honest with you. I spent way too much time and effort in building this base, and the worst part is, I'm not even finished. I add more later on. That went pretty good though. Put a farm back here. But enough is enough. I've done enough building for this stage. I need to sail down and face bone mass. Now, I should have gotten better food, but if I'm honest, 
I wasn't really that concerned. I know the bone mass fight pretty good, so, so I just rocked it with lower tier food. Oh, it's flattened the ground out. This is like the worst spot to do it. Now the bone mass fight is actually pretty simple. All you need to do is make sure that you maintain poison resistance, avoid the toxic cloud, dodge his melee hits, and smack him with a mace. Do that enough and he'll drop like a sack of potatoes. Eh, yeah, should be enough. Give me famous last words. All right, bone mass, third boss. So I forgot about them. Oh, one star. Uh, kind of pointless, but oh, that's very pointless. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. This is going remarkably well. Didn't have said that. Oh. Oh, fuck. Okay. My life flashed before my eyes there. I thought I was going to get poisoned and die. I just killed bone mass without dying. And I have no armor. Sheesh. A bone mass is pretty easy, to be honest. Uh, what's up, buddy boy? And just like that, bone mass's trophy will join the others. Three down. Four to go. All right, off to this snow biome. I need to fight these drakes with some mining rights. Now the mountain biome, in my opinion, is even simpler. All you have to do is run what? around a mountain with a wishbone looking for silver. All the while dodging stone Whoa. golems, drakes, and what? wolves. Then, once you find the silver and start mining it, you'll be harassed by all three of them. I didn't say easier, just simpler. Good thing I put a portal down. Okay. Where is the silver? Gotcha. Thing gave me a heart attack. Oh. Well, that's not good. Oh. Alright, 
Time for my favorite thing in this game. Popping a node. All right, so we got... Ninety silver exactly. Okay, that's pretty good. That to be honest might be enough for what I need. I don't know. We'll find out. Is that modder's spawn? It is modder's spawn. Well, this is convenient. It's on the island I'm already on, getting silver. Very convenient. Oh. Can you? Can you not get me? Well, I've got the one in the um, log cabin, so I've got two already. Perfect. A little bit more silver and we're good to go. Oh, you can't even write that. I'm now going to be good for the fight. All right, let's get some more silver and then we're good to go. All right, now I get to pop another vein. <laughs> Oh, so satisfying. All right, this is going to take a while. I've unintentionally made like a kind of nice base. I mean, there's still more that I need to do. I need to put in some stairs and stuff like that. Like this is supposed to be a challenge world. <laughs> I finish it and I'm done, but I just can't help myself. I need more light. And of course, while the silver's smelting, I continue the build. I have a problem. Wait. There should be enough lighting, I reckon. Well, I'd like it matters. I again. I'm building stuff that I honestly don't need to, but why not? Yay! Silver's finished. Alright, loads of silver. Now I can make the weapons. Now the smelting's finished, I'm able to make the weapons that I need for the fight with Modder. I'm also able to make the upgraded food now that I have a farm in place. Get some sleep in and then face modder. The modder fight is pretty straightforward. She shoots ice breath when she's flying that you need to dodge. Then she will land and breathe ice or try and hit you if she's close. As long as you can dodge all of those attacks and keep shooting her with fire arrows or poison arrows, she'll go down soon enough. The hardest part, however, is just the random ads which like to join in. All right, boss number four, modder. We are past the halfway mark. My nose looks really bad, but it's actually not. It's healing. Let's do this. You 
good if I would actually hit the shots. The hell, man. Oh. oh, my God. Oh. Despite the ads. And running out of health potions requiring me to run back to the base to get more. The fight went fine. doing this at night time. Mountain bombs, I, f I find all. Whoa! No, no, no. Okay. I was just about to say the mountain biome's the easiest I find, but, uh. Guys. 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 No one's home. Let's go. Four done. Three to go. Yagluth next. On to the planes. The planes, much like the mountains, I find quite easy as well. All you need to do is sail around until you find a village full of four foot tall goblins. What the hell is going on here? Beat them senseless. Until they give you all their gold and black metal. Whoop. A one star. Ow. Come on, bro. Bro, he's putting up a fight. You won't stand a chance. Yeah. Actually, I'm going to start there. Oh, he's stuck up there, so that's fine. 
No. Hello, goblins. I'm here for your stuff. Steal their goblin trophies. Mm. See ya. A 3v1, eh? That's fine. Ow. No problem. Still no problem. Wasn't even a problem. And not even use the metal or the weapons for this boss because you realize silver is actually a better option. So here's the thing. I could fight Yag from that tower, which would be cool. I can't really be bothered clearing the tower. I have, besides that, I have, I have another strat for this fight, which I've been wanting to do for a while. I just haven't done it yet, so. Now for the Yag fight, I actually wanted to do something a little bit differently. I still planned on fighting in melee using silver weapons because spirit is just good for Yag. However, usually I set up a little base with a portal kind of far away from the fight. This time, however, I opted to dig under the spawn go. and put a portal down there. So I've, been, I've, I've wanted to do this because you can do the same thing with modder. You'd probably be able to do the same thing with the elder as well. Um, you might be able to do something. Oh, no, you wouldn't be able to do it with the fader. But basically... Portal back to the base. So if I die, or when I die, you know, straight out, can get into the fight. Uh, and it should be safe because Meteors can't hit that. He shouldn't be able to damage that. So I guess we'll find out if this strategy works. I mean, realistically, I could fight, fight him right now. I've beaten every single boss in this game only using weapons and armor and items and food from before Ekthir. I've done a video for it, so go and check it out if you want. So I can technically do it, but <clears throat> I, I feel like I lost many years of my life doing that, so I'm, I'm, I'm not going to do that this time. I'm going to actually get myself like the potions and the food and stuff like that. So I'll spend the time actually doing that to uh, make sure that I'm, you know, prepared for it. It won't take me long. And it didn't take me long because before I knew it, I was back ready to fight. All right. It's time to cook. Now the Yag mechanics are pretty straightforward. When one of his hands go up, Meteors come down on you. When the other hand goes up, he does an AOE explosion fire effect. So fire potions are a must. Actually, you know what? No, I am going to go back and get stamina potions because it's easy enough to do it right now. Don't mind me, Yag. I'm back a sec, bro. The third attack that he does is vomiting highly toxic, burning lava breath. Oh, it's sort of so much better. Why did I, why did I ever decide that I wanted to do this uh, with the primitive weapons? That was, that fight literally took me hours. Avoid all those three, hit him with some spirit damaged weapons. And he drops real quick. timing oh now you do the raw oh that was blind rolling oh i didn't have fire resistance on 
That would have been bad if I got hit. That was big. Never mind. I should have done the rock trick. Oh. Oh. That was dangerous. Oh, rusted buff. I should go top up my rusted buff. Ow, what? He sniped me from behind the rock again. Dude's an MLG. You're dead. Oh, me door's not coming down. <laughs> I ran thinking it was. No. There we go. Oh. Oops. Only two left. Queen. Fader. Oh, we're getting there. We are getting there. There he is. Oh, well, wisps. There you go. I have a fairy. Now, I'm not wearing it. So I'm not breaking the rule. It's just loitering around me, that's all. Now, the Wisp is something that I need to be able to see a little in the Mistlands. And boy, do I have some beef with this biome. First, you have to spend a while sailing around until you find the actual Mistlands itself. And when you do, your vision is extremely limited. You then need to find the Dverga outposts, who will be referred to going forward as Short Kings. Oh, hell no. Nah. Oh. You then need to completely destroy the Short King's wards located in their outposts so that you can dismantle the actual building itself. Collect the materials and the important extractor from the component crate, which allows you to collect sap. Aha! That worked. Wait. Then you need to make a farm so that you can unlock the new magic buffing food as well as collect soft tissue from giant skulls. Oh. You also need to delve into the infested mines, fighting giant flying cockroaches. Ooh. Jumped. Collect black cores for the next level of refining and crafting. 
What is going on? Give me all that. Whoa! Bro was Spider-Man in the corner. As well as the seal breaker fragments, which allow you to unlock the door to the queen. Wait. All right, that's everything. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention, I made a chicken farm. I don't actually need chickens because the eggs and the chicken meat don't benefit me for the fighting style that I'm going forward. But I now have pet chickens, so that's a win. What should I call them? Heather. Hillary. Heather and Hillary the hen. got iron bars in all the windows now a bit of added security no that's really going to do anything now after refining all the utility that i needed and crafting all the weapons that i want for this fight now it's time to dethrone the queen Now, a full disclaimer, I should have used ooze bombs here, uh, and I didn't. I do severely regret it afterwards, but I mean, it was only a couple of deaths, right? There she is. Whoa! Can you, can you? Oh! Mm. Oh! Oh, that is not good. I thought I was cooked then. I thought she just jumped and got me. I need to head back and repair at some point. Hey, where you at? Falling. Oh, I thought I was about to see him Kumbaya. Oh, she's made it up. But after enough persistence, patience, suffering, and stress, Queen is the throne. Okay.
Where is she? Oh, she's down there. She's down there. Come on, come on, come on. It's here. Come on. Oh, she's dead. She's cooked. She's cooked. Pun intended. Oh, how many times did I die? I didn't die at all. The queen is dead. Uh, all right, queen. I'm going to need that. Nope. Out of here, man. All right, queen is dead. I'm going to take out Fatal. Ashlands. You're next. Well, you're lost. But you're next. Whoa. Oh boy, Ashlands. Ashlands is literal hell. You see, after sailing south for a long time, you will eventually arrive at said hell. All right. This is going to be interesting and probably not the most smartest thing to do at night time but you then need to navigate a maze of giant sharp rocks while you're in a giant boat that is both slow and doesn't turn very well is that a mono spawn then after landing on an island you have to fight and take a beach almost as if it's saving private ryan Oh great, a one star. Whoa, nope. After you've set up an outpost, you then need to explore around to collect resources for upgrades and food. You also need to mine flame metal nodes Raid castles for gems and bell fragments, which you use to summon the boss. We're in. Oh, fragment that's what I want and then after all of that is done you can finally craft the final magical weapons that you can use to take on Fader all right a month of recording no armor Probably like a thousand deaths. Finally come down to this. All right, let's do this. Now Fader's mechanics is a little bit of a combination of multiple bosses. He has a flame breath. He summons in adds. He calls down meteors. 
but he also has huge AOE attacks in the forms of circles and then pillars spinning out of the ground. All in all, it's probably one of the coolest fights in the game. No, go after them. Turn around. to me no stupid skeleton go after the dragon well I wasn't expecting that Why do I have modder? I should have put on uh Ooh, that was a mistake. I thought I had the queen on. I right, go away, man. Black line. All right, I'm on. All right, I have a plan. I'm gonna. All right, I'm not gonna be able to beat him like this. I'm gonna call in some trolls and then run through and change out my. Uh... The second bell. Never mind. I'm just gonna die instead. Honestly, I'd say the staff of the wild. Way to go on this one. Staff. Uh, honestly, I'd say the staff of the wild is the way to go on this. Trolls, like the trolls just don't last long enough. Sweet, they're actually fully aggro. Oh, never mind. I'm telling you, Staff of the Wild, if you're going to do magic for this, Staff of the Wild is the one to do it with. Oh, damn it. Alright, now he's spawning in friends. Did I just die from a rock to the head? This has been going for so long. That my uh, timer thing ran out for my Forsaken power, which is very useful.
That'll just happen to them. That's not fair. Run, 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 run. advertising Jesus I just got domed by a meteor well he's just, he's just standing there taking it so Keep taking it. No, come back here. Not you again. It's a redemption arc, redemption arc. Yeah, not dealing with that, nope. Hey, you don't want the smoke. Hmm. I have a bit of a gauntlet run ahead of me. Oh! Hey guys, hey on. Don't mind me. Just, oh. Don't mind me. Just, just, just passing through. Just passing. Yep, yep, yep. I, I feel like has the update made Vader's model kind of weird where he just kind of he just keeps walking off uh, I'm not complaining I'm just it's just an observation go vines come on come back yes no come back fade away you going Back Vader. Go Vines. Yes. 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 Ah, it's not over, it's not over. You know what? It's fine. We beat Fader. This is finally over. God. 
Give me, give me, give me. This has been rough. I had to take one look back. It'll be the last time I come back to this world until Valheim give an update. And during this run back, I was thinking, what could I have done differently? How could I have done this differently? Should I have done more? Should I have done less? Even in the edit, should I have made it longer, shorter, more, less? I don't know. But that's what the comment section's for. Let me know what you guys would like to see more of. Whether it's a different challenge, a different game, or different things that I did in this. Maybe you want to see more context in the edit. Maybe you want to see more building. I don't know. Let me know though. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you want, there is a Discord that you can join. The link is in the description below. And I hope, if it's not too much trouble to ask, that you hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, thank you very much for hanging around to the very end, and I'll catch you in the next one. Oh. Oh, every single boss with no armor. Challenge done.